us stress more peace. And Ephesians 6.23 tells us, Peace be with you, dear brothers and sisters. What is stress? We describe everything from awkward conversations to major catastrophes as stressful. That's actually appropriate because experts define stress as the response our minds and bodies have to pressure. When we experience worry, fear, or anxiety, that's the psychological side of stress. When our hearts pound, hands shake, and thoughts race, we've been impacted by the physical part of stress. While stress has been present throughout human history, the specific term has been used for less than 100 years. Hans Ley, a Hungarian doctor, first came up with it in 1936 to describe a set of symptoms he repeatedly noticed in patients even though they had different illnesses. Because of stress's medical origin, we tend to think of it in negative terms, like a sickness we need to cure. And many of the most common causes of stress are negative, including personal problems, professional losses, and unexpected events like pandemics. But stress itself is neutral, which I have never, you know, I've never really thought about this until I read this book. We also experience stress in positive situations, I never thought of it, like getting married. That can be stressful, but it's a positive situation. Having a baby, being promoted at work, and moving to a new place. Stress is part of every worthwhile endeavor, from making a new friend to winning an Olympic gold medal. In other words, stress actually has a purpose. It points out what matters most to us. It helps us identify possible threats. It prepares us for action. Our natural human stress response is God-given. He hardwired it into our brains and bodies. We need it to survive. But we're fallen, broken people in a fallen, broken world. And sometimes a response that's intended to be helpful becomes a hassle and a headache, literally. Thankfully, God also gives us what we need to manage our stress, to make it work for us rather than against us. Understanding stress matters because stressed out people often experience guilt or shame about the way they feel, or they become determined to get rid of stress completely. But what we really need to know, but what we really need is to know how to make stress work for us, to keep it from wearing us out and bossing us around. That is possible, but it takes spiritual truth, psychological insights, and practical, practical tools, all of which are coming in the pages ahead. Think of your natural stress response like a wild horse. It can trample your yard and throw you into the dirt. But it can also be tamed. And when that happens, it has surprisingly potential to help you move forward in life. What makes the difference? Who is in control? God will help you. He will help show you your stress. Who's the boss? God, you know every detail of my life. You know the pressures I have, the challenges I face, and the moments when I grow tired and weary. You don't condemn me for experiencing stress. Instead, you come right alongside me and lead me back toward peace. Guide me on this journey. I give all that concerns me to you. Amen. What have you been taught about stress? That's one of her ending questions. And here's another one. What's one new thing you learned about it today? So I could answer that. I learned a lot about stress just in this one little chapter. I always thought, oh, stress, you feel stress when bad things happened. And 
stress was something you just needed to get rid of. But I've learned in, in this, from reading this, like, it, I never really thought about how you do have stress in positive situations. You know, like a wedding or having a, having a baby. Okay, there, there is stress that comes along with positive situation. It's not always stress in the negative situations. Um, and stress is part of every worthwhile endeavor. Okay, and then, yeah, I've highlighted some of it. S stress actually has a purpose. So the ending remark is how you think about stress affects everything from your cardiovascular health to your ability to find meaning in life. The best way to manage stress isn't to reduce or avoid it, but rather to rethink, and this got me, these last few words, and even embrace it. Well, I got a long way to go to embracing my stress, I'll tell you that. But God is with me every day, every moment, every stressful moment. Um, he's there to help us to not avoid it or reduce it, but to be able to rethink about the stress you're under and to embrace it. So that was a really good one. Um, so I said, this book is full of really good, good um, insight on stress. So I hope that's an encouragement for you this week as you're going to have stressful moments, whether they be in a positive situation or a negative situation. And let's try and focus on how we can rethink the stressful moment and embrace it. See you next week.